None of this really looks familiar. It's been too long. I should go ahead and gather up all the bones as well. I wonder if I'm close to anything remotely near any of that. I wish it also would have a marker of where I am, because now I have no clue about where I am either. I think I followed this road. Yeah, here I am. So if I turn here, I could get a bone. That's going to help us out a lot later, so let's go and do that, shall we? We've got a lot of time to kill anyway, and a whole lot of extra gas in the tank. Now, Joel Gray's daughter is, of course, that's right, Jennifer Gray. You know that, right, Zach? Jennifer Gray. She's in one of my most favorite movies, Ferris Bueller's Day Off, 1986, directed by John Hughes. Huh, that one was so 80s. Zach, you're not the most cheerful guy I know. But you really do like those cheerful movies. We used to love those teenage movies back then, didn't we? Breakfast Club and Pretty in Pink, St. Elmo's Fire, and Fast Times at Ridgemont High. That last one was in 1982, directed by Amy Heckerling. Now that was an impressive film. You've got Sean Penn in the lead, with Jennifer Jason Lee and Phoebe Cates, not to mention Nicolas Cage and Forrest Whitaker were in it too. And the original book and the script were written by Cameron Crowe. How could that not be a great film? Do you remember that? When that movie ended, the last words the end was from an arcade game. That's right, it was from Missile Command. That stuck in my head for a while. The memories. I feel like I have a lot of movies to catch up on. Let's just hope we can get to the end of this case soon. Then maybe we can catch up on a few. Give some thought about what movie you want to see next time. It's still gonna be a while before that happens, York. Honestly, I can't really remember too much about what happens in this game. I guess it really has been too long. That's okay, though. We'll get to revisit it together. I believe the bone was somewhere over here. A little further ahead, I think. There should be several of them just kind of scattered around, mostly in the woods. But doing so will get us a very powerful gun later on, with infinite ammo as well. Zach, is there something here that you want to check out? We need to be at the community center by 1500 today. Just think of talking in front of all those people. What do you think, Zach? It's going to get fun. Mission knife, steel pipe. Custom handgun with infinite ammo. Do you like the machine gun? I could also get a infinite ammo machine gun as well. A right foot bone. It's the bone from the right foot of a human. So the rumors of human bones in the forest are true. A human bone? This doesn't look related to the case, but shouldn't I let someone know? Nah, forget about it. Sure, it happens all the time. Am I... Yeah, going the wrong way. Don't need to venture further into the forest. I believe this area is where uh, Anna died. And this is where we were searching for clues in the previous crime scene. The one before the lumber mill. Where to next? There's a car there, but nah. We could go fishing, but nope. Weather is too terrible for that. Oh no, I've, okay, here we go. Cause you can just like hit uh, L and R and zoom around to different spots on the map. Which doesn't really help since there's no marker for you. Maybe they fix that in the director's cut. I'm not sure. There's one. Two bones in this path. Three. I think they're all kind of connected to this type of path. Hopefully. But for now, let's go this way. Yeah, the road I was thinking about turning on to.
this way, I think. The only problem with this long drive like this is we are going to run through all of the things that York has to talk about. Which is a shame. I wish they put more of the random movie dialogue in the game. So for the later parts of the game, during these long drives, I'll probably just edit it out. Okay, Zach. I've been thinking about what movie I'd like to watch next. And finally, I've made a decision. It's always hard to narrow it down just to one movie. But I've put a lot of thought into this. And I'm sure you'll agree with me. No, I can't drive anymore. 1975. Directed by Steven Spielberg himself, the grandfather of Panic Movies. Set in a small town in Massachusetts. That movie made me stay away from the beach for years. I was always afraid that a hand might come floating up. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah? It's Jaws. The underwater camera work accompanied by that John Williams music. I'd never been that scared by a movie before. But the best thing about it is that it isn't just another panic movie. The mayor who won't close the beach even when there are so many victims. Chief Brody putting the citizens' lives above all else. The film gave a lot of time to the dispute and friction between them. It certainly had a lot of messages for a two-hour film. That's probably another reason why it was such a record-breaking hit. One of my regrets in life is that I didn't see it at the movie theater. I guess I was still just a child back then. But still, I wanted to taste that terror in real time. That reminds me, Zach. Did you know this one? Jaws also appears in another movie that was produced by Spielberg, the second Back to the Future. It was directed by Robert Zemeckis, who later made Forrest Gump. That's also a masterpiece, of course, but we'll discuss that another time. So, the scene where Jaws appears is right after Marty McFly goes 30 years into the future. He passes by a movie theater and is attacked by a holographic shark. Marty is shocked, of course, but looking closer, he sees the words, Jaws Part 19. The director is credited as Steven Spielberg Jr. In reality, there were actually only four Jaws movies. It was still a great joke. 30 years from 1985 would be 2015. We'll be there pretty soon. I wonder what life would be like by then, Zach. Okay, I guess we're done talking now. York does like to talk, doesn't he? Sorry, Zach. We'll recap on that later. For now, we've got human bones in bird nests. A hip bone. A human I think it's the same cutscene every time. This doesn't look related to the case, but shouldn't I let someone know? I know just the grandma who could use this. Now we should just be able to follow this path a bit further. Come across another bone, as well as Agent Honor. Very honorable to drive late at night like this. Check the map again. Bones both ways. All right, well, Let's try to head right first. Hopefully it'll tell us when we've got all the bones. Zach, we can take a rest if you're tired. I... No, we can't be out of stuff yet. That'd be a shame. Maybe just for now. Since York knows that he's been kind of talking a lot. It is a shame though. I wish, I wish there was a lot more of the random movie dialogue. Because it does run out pretty quickly. What's this? A human bone in a cemetery? Who would have thunk it? This grave has been dug up. Why would anyone do such a thing? Unless somebody died, I don't know. We might be able to meet the gravekeeper here. Kind of a weird guy. We could save this little rinky-dink telephone. 
Oh, hey, this thing actually works. Yeah, money for saving the game. And infinite green tomatoes? No, we can only have one. Only one per visitor. And we could actually just kind of sleep here, which is uh, maybe a little low standards for FBI agents, but I don't think York is the type of guy to complain about it. Oh, what? Why are there like 80 chains on this door or some kind of barbed wire contraption? How do I get in there? That probably blows up. Seems dangerous just to have that out in the open. Actually, I think if we stay out too late, things start getting dangerous and weird. So let's stay out late, shall we? Nothing stops the bone hunt. I like my machine gun too much. Take it, fences. Out of the way, statue. Got human bones to find. Alright, you, you can stop pushing, York. It's clear. Probably gonna have to destroy this one. Yep. Take it. I've come to save you, Agent Honor. And left foot bone. We are assembling the skeleton. A human bone? This doesn't look related to the case, but shouldn't I let someone know? Makes me think of Chrono Cross, when you have to find all of Skelly's bones and put them back together. What's up, dog? I think the dogs are interested in the bones. You always see one around. Sorry, beat you to it. Can I not just... Just really can't get through here? Nope. Uh, this way. How'd the dog get in here? Must have been really eager for that bone and just jumped the fence. I was gonna say, I got through there before. I believe it's around midnight that shit starts going crazy. Like zombies popping up and giant demon dogs roam the streets. Could just sleep past it, but that's no fun. Another green tomato. Have another one for the road. You're gonna need it. It gets dangerous out there. 